So I'd like to welcome all of you today to the, uh, the original site of JTS Brown & Sons uh, Distillery and Bourbon Warehouse, built sometime in 1860. I'm Steve Poe, I'm the President and CEO of Poe Companies, and on behalf of my partners White Lodging and REI, I'd like to welcome you here today. Um, you know, over the years, that group has developed thousands of hotel rooms across the country. And here in Louisville, when we get this hotel done, it'll be our 13th hotel, and we've developed over 2,200 hotel rooms. And something that um, sometimes I take for granted when I think about that is who works there. And White Lodging now manages all 2,200 of those rooms and they have over a thousand employees in this city. And I see some of them out there today and I just wanna say thank you to all of you because you're the people on the front line who welcome the guests to Louisville and who make a great impression for our city and our properties. So thank you very much. Uh, when I was preparing my remarks for this, um, I started thinking back when I was younger, I always thought forward, uh, but, but now I think back, I still think forward. And as a developer, you always think of certain things. So I, I first thought of the first deal I really did, and that was a very small starter subdivision out in eastern Jefferson County on Westport Road. Then you think about the first big deal you ever did, right? And for me, that was a $10 million, 260 unit apartment building on Hurstburn Lane. And I thought, wow. Then you think about, or I thought about, the deal you can't believe you really did, okay? That'd be the Marriott downtown. You know, when we built that in 2000, we started in 2002, that was right after dot-com and 9-11. We had to convince Marriott that actually they should have a hotel of that size in Louisville. Certainly the room rate didn't signify that we should have a hotel like that, right? Then we had to put together a partnership with the city and the state and us, the first big public-private partnership, which today we refer to as TIFFs, to get that hotel built. And then I literally had to pinch myself because Bill Marriott himself came to open that hotel because it was truly, in Louisville, Kentucky, the biggest project Marriott had going on at that time in the world because of not common 9-11. So after I thought about that, then you think about what's your favorite project? Which one do you like best? And I've got to say, I think this is going to be the best one. And the reason is this is, this is part of history. This is unique. This is something different. It's working with the community to restore something and although we've already started and done a great job, make it a place that's vibrant and exciting that not only the local community loves, but people across the world love to come and see. So when we first started looking at this site and um, uh, started talking to my partners about it, and we, um, I mean, obviously they've done a lot of hotels here together and they knew about the site and they knew we'd been successful at the loft and they said, hey, that's a great site. But as a developer, you start looking at it and all we could see was dollar signs, right? Facades to save, tight sites, historic buildings to build around, streets to close, all these type of things. But as we kept looking at it further and we started talking about it, and we started talking about the history of the block, how these, these buildings have been saved by the wrecking ball multiple times, how finally the mayor and a group came up not only to save the buildings, but to energize and put real businesses in there working. Local people, local businesses became involved. And so we took a look at all that, and all of a sudden we started seeing opportunity. And we recognized it was gonna cost more, but we saw opportunity. And ourself and the design team just started embracing what was here. The history, the architecture. We embraced these facades that are behind us. We actually, Washington Street we love, it's you know sort of edgy and cool. We even embraced the parking lot. Even though we knew it shouldn't be here, it gave us a blank canvas to start from to build something new and cool that would be part of this, this area. 
So the, the next decision we made was we need actually two hotels. We have two front doors. We have two distinct different things going on here. We have Washington Street, which is cool and edgy. We have Main, Main Street, which is vibrant and has historic structures and is sort of the retail front door. So we decided we would on Washington Street do a Moxie Hotel. And Moxie is a European brand. It's a Marriott affiliated. It's cool, it's edgy, it's hip, it's got a lot of energy. Uh, and as we describe it, and I, obviously I'm a little older, but it's designed to, to be part of the millennial crowd. Uh, it's probably a group of people that party a little longer, a little harder than most of us would. And we think that fits perfectly with Washington Street and what's getting ready to happen there. Then we took a look at what we want to do for Main Street. And originally, we decided we'd build a Weston Hotel. And Weston's a great brand. It's known internationally. It's sophisticated. And, you know, we love that brand. And we hope to build that brand, that hotel, someday in Louisville, Kentucky. We're just not going to build it today, and we're not going to build it here. As we started designing and working with the architects, working with the designers, working with the local folks, and designing this hotel, we started creating images that were just fantastic. And we pushed everybody to embrace the history, embrace the facades, embrace the fact that this is the, the greatest number of cast iron facades, you know, uh, west of Soho. You know, to, to use Soho as an inspiration. And as we got through that process and started seeing the images and talking among ourselves, we figured out that we weren't building a Weston hotel. We were actually building our own unique boutique upscale hotel. And that hotel is the Hotel Distill. And the word distill means, among other things, but it means taking something of its essence, distilling it, and it coming out stronger and better. And that's what we're doing here. We're taking something that's here, we're actually redoing it, repurposing it, and creating something new to fit into this block. So whether it's the facades and the steel structures, that are incorporated into the bar and restaurant itself, whether it's the second floor bars, or rooftop bars that create energy behind the facades, whether it's the ballroom that has glass and lets in natural light, or whether it's the bourbon inspired private dining, I think you're gonna find that the hotel distill is a very, very unique experience and we're very excited and proud to be a part of it. So Mr. Mayor, I wanna thank you all of the individuals involved, all the businesses, and all the people for restoring the Whiskey Road Block and giving us the opportunity to create the Moxie and Hotel Distill. With that, would you like to come up and say a few words? Well, thanks, Steve, and what an exciting time and great job to be here at this point in time. I mean, I think all of us, if you've had anything to do with uh, Louisville, like uh, Barbara Sexton Smith here, our District uh, 4 Metro Council member. Uh, you just are smiling today. I mean, just to be sitting here and looking up at these facades and knowing what could have happened, as Steve talked about, on this street. Not too long ago, what we'd been looking at is just blank canvas here. I mean, all the way down, all these beautiful facades gone. And it has been a heck of a history here, from the original bourbon times and storage in our, in our city. David Karam can tell us all about that, head of the Waterfront Development Corporation and also a big partner on this project. But when we had the fire here, and that was, I guess, two and a half years or so ago, it was in the middle of the day, everybody's going crazy. I'm running around here saying, this is going to be great. And while these buildings are on fire, and people looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, just because think how this adds to the legacy of Whiskey Row. You know, when we tell the story on how these are almost burned down, and we didn't know the distill and the moxie were going to be coming, but we knew something great would be happening here in this city. Because when you, a lot of people that are here travel around the country, travel around the world. This, when this is done here with the rest of Whiskey Row, this is going to be one of the great blocks in the entire world with the type of different products we have here, the experience, the feel, the architecture, the hospitality of our city, bourbonism all coming together. 
uh, we are just beginning in terms of the momentum that we've got going here as a city. So that's an exciting time to be. When you think about momentum and when you think about one of our original partners, you've got to think about white lodging. Uh, Steve talked about the impact of the Marriott uh, when they made a statement on their belief in our city and took us to a whole nother level. That took a lot of guts from Steve, from you and the entire team that came together and made that happen. And the fact that now they've embraced our city and with this being the 13th and the 14th property, a thousand employees here in our city, that's a big deal. And that's a commitment that we should never forget as we celebrate today. Let's remember the folks that have helped us get here today. So Steve, you and White Lodging have had a lot to do with that. I just want to say thank you very, very much for that. Good job. The overall momentum in our city, everybody knows, uh, is great. Uh, two weeks ago, we announced the PGA coming back here. These hotels will be well open by that point in time. So when you think about that taking place, of course, the Derby every year, uh, the Breeders' Cup coming back in 18, and just the draw of bourbonism. If you spend any time downtown now, we've got something going on here that we never had going on. There's lots of people walking around downtown on weekends. And when you stop and talk to them like I do and ask them what I'm doing here, they all tell their stories. And half the time it's bourbon and half the time it's other thing. But our city is really in a great spot relative to tourism right now. And it's just, I think we're just at the beginning stages with the convention center opening next August, the expanded convention center that puts us in a whole different spot in terms of the type of conventions that we're pulling to town. So when people say, you know, there's 25 hotels under construction or plan in our city right now, isn't that too much? I say, not really, it's not enough. These are smart people that see the numbers coming together and there is demand for these great products and many, many more as well. So it all fits in great with the $11 billion of construction that's taken place in our city and the 24 million tourist visits that we've had as well. And there's a lot of folks in this room right now that are in lodging, uh, food and beverage, convention and uh, business, tourism. I just want to say thank you to you guys. This is what happens when you say we can do this. We don't have to take a back seat to anybody. We should be loud and proud. We got something really authentic and unique here in our city. And this is what happens when people come and start investing in our city. A lot of locals are investing. A lot of people from around the world are investing. But everybody thinks this is a good bet here in our Derby City. So it's a great and exciting time to be in Louisville. So I want to thank everybody for that. Thank the other great folks here on Whiskey Row as well. Thank Steve Poe and White Lodging again for bringing this unique brand to our city. We've got a great, great partner in the Convention and Visitors Bureau that day in and day out, you know, when you talk to other CVBs around the country, they're all saying, what is happening in Louisville? Not just how we're promoting our city, but also the unparalleled team that we've got here in the CVB. So Stacy Yates is here to represent the CVB today and spread the good word. Stacy, come on up. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. I know that I am the only thing um, keeping you from an exciting bourbon toast, so I promise to be short and hopefully sweet. Uh, it's an honor to be here um, speaking to you, to you today on behalf of the tourism industry. Our CEO, Karen Williams, uh, also sends her greetings. She's actually in Texas uh, today um, trying to recruit some convention business, so, um, but she, uh, if sorry she couldn't be here. So speaking of business, as the mayor said, uh, the tourism industry is a big one. I'm just one of 28,000 people employed in the city's uh, hospitality industry. And we all work together, uh, like the mayor and Steve said, we, we work together to drive that 1.6 billion uh, in tourism growth uh, through those uh, dollars that our tourists spend. And driving much of that growth, I'm very pleased to say, are our partners at White Lodging. Uh, for over a decade, they have worked to change the city's tourism landscape, and they are about to do it again. The addition of such upmarket brands as the Moxie and the Autograph Collection, which I'm so excited about personally, really do enhance Louisville's reputation and are a draw themselves uh, to savvy travelers, especially those lucrative millennials who are, will travel to a brand uh, just based on their, their, their loyalty, um, but if it's an interesting destination, that makes it even um, uh, more appealing to them. So if we uh, do our job in destination marketing uh, to make our brand appealing, then they will definitely come. I'm also especially excited about the particular approach that White Lodging is taking with both of these properties uh, to interpret Louisville's rich bourbon heritage and our future. 
This solidifies Louisville's image as the bourbon city uh, and really helps us deliver on our promise of authenticity and culture, which is now what people are traveling more for, more, and ever, more than ever. So not since before prohibition has our city literally and figuratively been creating such a buzz. So thank you to Steve uh, and Shane and Lawrence and all of the White Lodging team for being great partners and helping us tell Louisville's story. We look forward to helping you welcome visitors from around the world to our city through your doors. So cheers. And let's drink. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro government.